What is this car? So it's a Mitsubishi iMeve. It's a small electric car that was built in Japan and NHP has acquired it as part of a government electric vehicle trial. The motor is mounted at the back and the battery packs, which are lithium ion, are under the floor of the vehicle. So they're basically underneath the passenger and driver's side of the car. The maximum range you can get out of this Mitsubishi says is 120 kilometers. The trial involves giving it to a company and they use the GPS system that's installed on the car by the government to track where the person goes, how it's used, what speed, whether they drive mostly on the highway or in suburban streets, and use it for their own statistics. Basically, every morning when I get to work, I plug it in at work. I pull up into the car park in front of the charge station, I grab the cable out of the back, plug in the car side, and then run over to the charge station and I swipe my little, uh, it's like a little swipe tag I suppose, that registers my account, the vehicle, my details and then a little door opens and I'm allowed to plug in that cable to charge the car. If I've got a really dead battery, it takes about three to four hours to charge up and that gets me about 90 k's. The other charge points I know of are in Richmond. There is also one at Melbourne Airport and there's one near Federation Square. It's designed to get you from home to work and most people's commute is less than 30 kilometers. It does that quite well. I get a lot of people come up to me in car parks and just ask about what it is, if it's an electric car, and some people are quite surprised that it's purely electric. It's not something like a hybrid. There is no petrol, there is no diesel engine. It's a plug-in and charge kind of electric car. Car sign ridden, so I'm getting NHP's awareness out there. The company has an interest in emerging technology such as renewable energy, and that goes hand in hand with electric vehicles. Not only that, people see that electric cars are real, they do exist. We're driving around in them nowadays, and it works just fine.